Farooqi sahab ho gaye Farooqi sahab now what i want to know is that as uh, dr tim said that for him it's a passion it's 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 dedication it's motivation all of these factors when they come together obviously you become a mentor but now how much percentage of or how how many teachers out there do you think is it's not a profession for them at all and they're just doing it because of the fact that they have to earn money so they're just there in universities offering lectures because of the fact that they have to bring bread home that's it nothing else and that's very much true uh, i have a with a due respect with dr tim i'm standing on a different page uh, we really cannot ignore the factor of this financial commitment yeah. the teachers facilitators and the mentors eventually everyone is working for the money and the reason behind this complete collapse i'm i'm like i'm sorry to say but i'm totally standing on a different page That's we clearly it. can see that the uh, role of the teachers are no more that influential as is used to be in the past yeah. reason is very simple because the lost the dedication the no more faithful as they used to be in the past the honesty dedication reliableness and all those things which are very much required for being a teacher that's gone in the society now so i think so it's more of like the commercial factor and the materialistic approach as well okay well i want to oh well no uh, faruqi sahab for example if we talk about pakistan or this region now what happens is that for us teachers are probably one of the characteristics or one of the characters from any horror movie because as soon as he's going to come into the lobby or into the class will be all like oh oh my god he's here and i don't know what's going to happen next he might throw me out of the class as well so the student and teacher relationship how do you think that the teachers how do you think that we can teach teachers to be casual with the students because of the fact that okay if you're in the class then they own this respect they deserve it as well True. but then for example if in the evenings like dr tim said they can just have a bit of chill or a cup of coffee sit with them listen to their problems whatever it is because it's their age to actually find out what's going on what's not what to do what not to do so how do you think we can instill this thing in our teachers as well uh, well when it comes from a personal point of view uh, i'm here by with a very straight opinion about that a teacher is the, the person the one who can teach only while is the mentor the one who actually groom your personality okay. so according to me there's a very clear and straight difference between the teacher and the mentor a okay. uh, person the one who do not carry uh, this mentorship qualities or the career counselor kind of the techniques yeah. he can't be a teacher at all unlike the international education system was uh, like anyone who is coming into the education side he must have to be uh, to go undergo a kind of the proper training program that includes not only that technical training but that includes a uh, career counseling techniques and all those things what is happening in our society i have personally experienced this thing over here in this pakistan as well in this culture because when i was uh, establishing this canadian education system in the pakistan i have had a chance to visit a lot of universities the teacher's role is probably a kind of like the person the one is trying to be uh I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm using that word we're trying to be kind of more bullying towards the students bullying yeah, yeah. okay if we're trying to just influence the student in a way that we're not wearing your tie 500 rupees fine yeah. or oh, you're not wearing <laughs> your tie this is the fine okay but until well, then the relationship he? is turning on the trust and the confidence and abilities what's what we're doing we trying to influence the student through every possible mean for instance a student told me a statement that teacher was saying we can find this the way is that most of the time for example if you're in the field of banking if you're in the field of media a lot of time there are training sessions a lot of time there are new projects coming in where you have to go learn and then come back and then give back to your organization how many times do you think teachers over here in this region go for these training sessions where they learn new practices how to be interactive with students Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to go in. Yeah. Probably first of all, like you know, about you, Maha, about your experience. Probably you were unlucky in that context that you didn't have the good teachers. I wasn't just me, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, if I could, my example, because I've had a chance to be here in this Pakistan universities as well as international universities as well. My teachers in the Pakistan they kept asking me for getting good CGPA, the good grades, and all those things. Uh, I uh, like I've had a chance to work for the world's top financial institution as a financial advisor, and at the very young age. I managed to get that position. In fact, I mastered that position, and I had a chance to be with one of the world's top public speaker, Les Brown. He's in fact a mentor, and he at that stage told me that you already mastered something. You don't need to waste your energies more on it. Go back and start with the communication business. So this is the actual role of the mentor. He 
asked me to leave that job. I left that, and then I developed the Canadian healthcare system in the three countries of the world. Okay, so if I were sitting at the, the same position over there, right? So I would have been serving very good for my family and have been making a lot of money and all those things. But now. Ed Mentor changed the whole perspective and he put me into the business where I'm leading the world's top companies here in the Pakistan and other countries okay. as well. So this is the positive role of the mentor. Okay, and that's, you know, and I completely agree with that and you're absolutely right. When you get a good mentor, you can have that. Yeah. But look at the state of the world. Not everyone's successful, not everyone's got the best guidance, not everyone yeah, wants their protégés or their mentees to succeed. The attitudes within people are changing, no? Does anyone agree or disagree? So, I'll start off, you, you talked about teacher training. Yes. Right? It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely critical. Um, so, a sobering note, if one looks at where Pakistan is in the global index for uh, education, right? We are, and this is a, you look at where we are in primary education, it's really bad. You look at secondary education, it's really bad. What people are surprised to hear is that when you look at tertiary or higher education, we are worse off comparatively than for primary and secondary education in Pakistan. We're worse off. We're worse off. Okay. Right. The countries that are below Pakistan, with the exception of Haiti, are sub-Saharan Africa countries, most of which have gone through severe conflicts, right? And none of those countries are even half our size. So that's the neighborhood that we're in, mm. in those rankings. And we didn't get there overnight again. Right. So we have some major challenges. Uh, Training, how do you value teachers, how do you move forward, are all very important. First of all, I think the most important part is you, you cannot afford to lose hope. Right? We will have a better future. We have had some great indicators. Uh, we've had Pakistani scientists who've gone and formed enormous companies, Caribbean Network, it's a billion dollar company, started off with a graduate from NED, Megan Cox, mm -hmm. so, and there's a whole host of Pakistanis yeah that have been successful at the most competitive, you know, Silicon Valley and elsewhere. So yes, the talent is there, and we are seeing some increasing amount of, of options for students to study. You have FC College in Lahore that's come out, yes, you of course have Lam, you have Aar Khan, you have GIK, and you have, you know, I don't want to mention Havi, but you know, you have all, cause so what was the landscape 35, 40 years ago when Aar Khan came on before that mm. and today is dramatically richer and people are doing their own little things last night we had dinner with Dr. Shreya from Case and Care right uh, they're doing a slightly different approach they're doing excellent work and the students are doing an amazing job the as well the students are doing there, a yeah. phenomenal job we've right? had the students so well they make right. robots yeah, I mean, and so, so he's a close friend I mean someone we respect tremendously right so so that diverse, so it's not the, the one narrow definition okay. anymore, it's broader, it's richer, and good things will come out of it, but we just have to work very hard. Yeah. Okay, and that's a perfect day to end on, we've actually totally run out of time, but yeah. thank you all so much Dr. Ayaz, thank you for joining us, uh, Dr. Shwe, thank you Dr. Kim, and thank you Shagandha for joining us today. With that, you know, we have to keep trying to make our society better. We need to, you know, look at ourselves and see what we can give to the next generation. So with that, uh, do log into our Facebook fan page. Which is with the name of World This Morning. Twitter. Uh, World This Morning without a G. Daily Motion. World This Morning. And the repeat of that. 5 past 12. Yes, great. So we'll see you both early tomorrow. Have a great day. One, two, three. Good, Good morning. morning.